Good evening. Welcome to Yoga with Liza. Tonight is a special request class. Um, it's not quite 7.30, so I'm going to give some background into why I'm sitting in a chair tonight. My aunt from New Orleans, Auntie Honey, this class is for you. Sharon, this class is for you. Um, my travel mate and companion, um, who I went to many uh, essential oil conferences with. And Linda Eberts, this is for you, for attending all of my chair classes at Circle of Miracles early on. I'm giving you a class that you can do at home. I'm seeing people sign on, but from here, I can't quite read your, um, who you are. So tonight, um, this is a gentle class chair, and I know this is backwards and upside down and all kinds of crazy things with the camera, but this is a Meditate With Me book. As many of you know, my grandchildren are watching me on this YouTube or Facebook. It's not a YouTube video. It's a Facebook video. This is night seven that I'm broadcasting my yoga with Liza. And over the past week, my classes have evolved. Um, my children have chosen to self-quarantine during this time and so I'm here on my own uh, my friend Charlie is in New Jersey he's supposed to be going back to work he delivers supplies for the American farmers and hopefully the American farmers will be out there and working so I'm doing this time on my own and this is a way for me to connect with my children, my grandchildren, family out of state, yoga students, maybe people who just need to make a connection, who are going through this time of self-quarantine, isolation on their own. Also dedicating practices to the first responders, nurses, doctors, ambulance people, truck drivers, grocery store, retail people who are out there and still working and doing what it is they need to do through this time. So there's a little explanation of why I've chosen to do this. Like I said, this is day seven and maybe I'll post it. So over the week we've talked about um, staying centered in a place of love and for me staying centered in a place of love as I discussed last night does not mean using discernment I know that if I put my hand on that heater over there which is the open element heater my hand will get burned so I'm using discernment not to do that I've learned that and staying centered in a place of love also gives me the ability to trust. And this is one of my old um, stones that I would pick up and put in my pocket. And on days when I was learning how to trust and stay centered in a place of love, I would pick up a stone um, with a word on it and I picked trust tonight. So I think we all need to trust ourselves in knowing that we're going to make the right decisions for ourselves at the right time and that we can't fail at being ourselves. That's a post I posted right before this class by Dr. Wayne Dreyer who wrote The Power of Intention. So there's some insights into me. Um, Somebody said today, oh, well, I don't care who your teachers are. I want to know who you are, where you've been in your darkest hour. Um, that's for you, L. And I don't share that very often because my darkest hour is very deep and intense. 
I was an ER nurse for 20 years. I worked med surge. Um, I was a hospice nurse for nine years. And so instead of telling you all of the horrible details, when I was a hospice nurse, I started coming home every night and I would light this candle and I would say a prayer for every patient that I saw this day. Wendy, I hope you're here tonight. I forget to mention you all the time and tonight I'm mentioning you. Wendy, um, her stepfather was one of my patients who was a Marine and he was one of several of my World War II Marines who taught me the meaning of Sempa Fidela and that even though they knew, I knew that when we met, they would shortly no longer be walking on this earth. They did everything that they could to try and take care of me, as well as allowing me to take care of them as their soul was taking a time to pass. Excuse the technical difficulties. Um, my technology is old. I don't have the latest and greatest phone. I don't have the latest and greatest camera, but I'm real like the Velveteen Rabbit, and my classes come from my heart. So, all right, kids, I know, you're eating dinner. My grandchildren, Ricky, Wyatt, Angelo, maybe Henry are all watching tonight. And so I'm reading to you guys tonight a Meditate With Me book. And in reading the Meditate With Me book, it also helps me go back to the beginning of my days when I first started meditating. Sit down in a comfortable seat. Let's start moving from our head to our feet. Lift your shoulders to your ears. Flex your arms and squeeze them tight. Now let go and get all loose like spaghetti. Again, pucker and crinkle your face. Scorch it up. Come on, Wyatt. And again, shoulders and hands clenched in. Squeeze every part of your body tight, tight, tight. And release. One more time, scrunch everything you can. Flex your feet, curl your toes, take a deep breath in, and then let it go. See, the kitty cat's doing this too. And after I do all of this, we'll do chair yoga. Now notice your breath in through your nose. Is the air cool? Is it warm? Can you feel in your body where it goes? Take a great big breath in and out. Place your hand just under your belly button. Let your next breath fill that spot with air. Now take your hand and place it above. Breathe in. Can you feel fill that spot with air? Now bring the hand up to your chest. And can you feel that? Expand and contract. Fill your chest completely. Let your spine get tall. Inhale slowly. Exhale slowly. Breathe in and fill your whole body. Breathe out and relax your whole body. Inhale. Fill it all up. My singers know how to do this. Exhale. Imagine a jar full of water and glitter any color you choose. I don't have a jar with glitter, but I brought my oil and water. And for those of you, oil and water do not mix. 
Shake the jar, keep shaking. Imagine the colors clouding the water, zooming this way and that. When you're ready, stop shaking the water. Set the jar down flat. Watch as the oil and the water start to separate back out. Wiggle your fingers up high in the air. Bring them slowly towards the ground. Imagine the glitter floating from the bottom of the jar. Whoosh and whoosh as if we're sitting in the glitter. Same as paint. All kinds of fun things to do. Wish, wish. Your mind is like that glass jar and with shiny thoughts and feelings zooming this way and that, you can put, you can use your breath and body to set that busy mind down flat. Gently inhale, exhale, whoosh. You can feel what it's like to be just here and now. Breathe in and fill your whole body. Breathe out and relax your whole body. I'm watching my jar as I'm breathing in and out. Your thoughts and feelings help you in your day. You need to know when you are happy, mad, or sad. What does it feel like in your body? Make a face to show a happy face with your whole body. I'm smiling, great big smile. Doesn't that feel good to smile? Show you the pictures in the book gently. Breathing through it. What does it feel like in your body when you're mad? Make a mad face. I know why it can do this. Ricky, can you do it too? Pout and put your lip out and show you're mad with your whole body. And then release it all out. What does sad feel like in your body? Make a sad face. Maybe on a rainy day, we're sad. And then let it all out. We get glad. Now, what does excited feel like in your body? Make an excited face. Show that with your whole body. I know Ricky does this. This is so excited. And Wyatt too. Angelo, are you there? I need your help. Excited. What does that feel like in our bodies? Breathing into it. Notice your breath again. You can still feel your whole body like a balloon. Blow it up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let everything come soft. As you let that breath out slowly, Start to pay attention to the sounds in the room. Listen. Very quiet here. With your eyes closed, your hands in your lap, try to hear the sounds all around you. Each bump, beat, and tap. What do you hear outside? You hear the birds singing? What do you hear on the street of your city, your town? Listen, right now, many of our cities and towns are very quiet, but as we get quiet, we can hear the birds chirping and maybe the squirrels chattering. When you become so quiet, what else can you hear? Inside sounds, you're breathing. Maybe as you put your hand over your heart, you can feel or hear your heart beating. Breathe in, fill your whole body. Breathe out 
and relax your whole body and listen. Notice how each sound comes and goes. Notice how each breath has an easy flow. Breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Adults who are joining in, maybe you're hearing that ocean hushing sound in the back of your ears. Notice how each thought or feeling has its own rhythm too. Like clouds in the sky, your thoughts and feelings drift by. Like glitter in the jar, they move through you. It's true. So you can relax, breathe and listen letting everything in and then out today. Know that this calm place is always just one breath away. Breathe in and fill your whole body. Breathe out and relax your whole body. Well done. Again, breathe in and breathe out. Gently, four easy steps to meditate with me. Sit and relax, sit comfortable. Place your hands on your knees or your lap. Try squeezing and release three times. Try squeezing and release. And try squeezing and release. Letting your spine get tall. Roll your shoulders back and down. Adults, join in with me. Breathe and relax. Put one hand on your belly button and one hand to your chest. Breathe in, filling the air like a balloon. And then exhale. And breathe in and then exhale and breathe in and then exhale. Listen and relax. Start to notice the sounds in the room. Maybe you hear the kitty cat or the iguana. What do you hear when you are still and quiet? Relax and just be. Picture a blue sky with white clouds. Can you be like a big open sky with clouds drifting by? Inhale slowly. Exhale slowly. Thank you for joining me for Meditate With Me. Moving into our chair gentle practice. You can be seated on the mat as we come into or continue with our trusting meditation and trusting ourselves to do the right thing at the right moment. And I'm just checking to see where I am with time. Hi, Mikey, I'll get back to you after class. And I'm going to take the glasses off. I need them for reading and keep them close by. Bringing our hands into heart center for the adults. And this is a lot of meditation tonight. And choosing, this is a meditation that I wrote back in 2008. 
Expectations. The definition of expectations by the Macmillan Dictionary for Children. Yes, I like to keep it simple. Expect to look forward to. He expects to get a new bicycle for his birthday. To want something because it is right. Or from the teacher or necessary. The teacher expected an apology from the rude child. Three, to think, suppose. I expect he won't be coming to school today because he has a cold. The act of expecting. I remember I wrote this in 2008. Today, try letting go of expectations. To be in the moment, to feel the breath. And not having expectations, we do not have to judge. If something or someone meets our expectations, then we could or might say that they are good. And if someone does not meet our expectations, then maybe we label them as bad. By doing this, we are limiting ourselves and maybe missing the lesson we are meant to learn from them. By letting go of expectations, we are the open, a blank page ready to learn, experience the moment for what it is, a breath at a time. Wise old yogis say, all you have to do to practice yoga is breathe, one breath at a time, one day at a time. And in sharing and revealing bits of myself, when I worked in the ER, people would say to me, oh, one day at a time. And in the ER, I would say, oh, no, some days here, it's one breath at a time, literally. So breathing into it, coming back into the here and now, feeling today, I'm breathing, I'm here. I can't fail at being myself. And Dr. Wayne Dreyer, I'm going to turn that around and I'm going to do the work on that and say, I can only succeed at being myself and putting it in the positive vernacular of being me. Opening, placing our dedications into our lotus flower and breathing into it one breath at a time. Inhaling, bringing our arms up overhead, shoulders soft. As we exhale, knowing the universe will help us take care of our dedication, our intention. Brenda Richards, Brenda Johnson, thank you. As we exhale and let this out, and one more time, inhale, breathing in. Exhale, breathing out. And one more time, inhaling. And exhaling. And one more time, inhaling. And exhaling. And coming back into center, inhaling and exhaling. And taking a moment to pause. And in sharing of myself and maybe some of why I do, knowing that I owe no one an explanation, I choose to honor my students and honor my teachers by mentioning them in class. To me, that's showing appreciation. Showing appreciation, loving from the heart. Many of you know this, tapping the heart and bringing out, I'm showing you the love, I'm sharing appreciation, is a way of sharing and showing love and sending it out to the universe. 
So I appreciate my teachers bringing our hands into heart center, inhaling, bringing the arms up, exhaling, bringing them out and around. One more time, inhale up, exhale out and around. Letting our hands come soft to our side, bringing our chin to the right shoulder. Gently coming back through center, bringing the chin to the left shoulder. Bringing our chin back through center, eyes to the ceiling, nose, chin, open and close the mouth. Close the mouth and swallow. Bringing our chin back to chest, gently reaching down, breathing into it. Coming back to center, bringing our hands to our knees. So gently, as we reach, inhale, look up to the ceiling, arch the spine. Exhale, bring ourselves back, tuck the tailbone under. Inhale, bringing ourselves up. Exhale, bringing ourselves back. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, bringing ourselves back. Inhale, up. Exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Coming back to center, bringing the hands into heart center. Push into the palms, gently. Feel the muscles in the floor of the pelvic wall engage, even though we're seated. Iriyadabandas, Ulabandas, the mus muscles in the abdominal wall, bringing our chin to chest. Inhale, bring the chin back up, keeping the muscles in our core engaged, bringing the chin to the right, gently twisting to the right. Breathing into it. Now bringing our chin to the left shoulder. Gently bringing ourselves back to center. Coming all the way over to the left. The mason jar lids are popping. Bringing the chin back to center. To the opposite shoulder. Bringing our hands back to center. Inhale, bringing the arms all the way up. Exhale, maybe the arms come back over the chair. Maybe we're holding right where we are. Breathing into it. Bringing our chin back to center. Bringing our hands into heart center. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, twisting to the other side. Looking back over the shoulder, breathing into it. I want to thank Jenny for sharing and being one of my colleagues who's putting herself out there and also sharing her knowledge as we come back to center realizing that whatever I do is opposite and backwards. Inhale up, exhale, bring the arms out and around in the camera. One more time, inhale up, exhale, gentle forward fold. And maybe you're an easy cross leg and sitting on the mat. Gently walk our hands over to one side. So if you're in easy cross leg on the mat, your belly's coming to your thigh, breathing into it. 
looking back over the shoulder, bringing our head back through center, walking our hands to center, walking the hands over to the other side. So maybe you're up here and walking, maybe you're down here, maybe you're seated on the mat, breathing into it. Walking our hands back to center, tucking the chin, inhale, bringing our arms all the way back overhead, bringing the feet out, bringing our hands out in front, opening and closing, making circles with our wrists and our ankles. Again, if you're on the mat, you feel free, you can do this straight away on the mat gentle circles opening, making gentle movements, flexing, pointing, flexing, bringing our hands back to the mat, heart center, feet back to the mat, breathing into it. Now take this right foot and gently cross it over the left. Maybe we're taking the right foot and crossing it up and over. Inhaling, bringing the arms up, bring them out in a T. So if your right leg is on top, we're going to cross and bring the left arm on top as we come into our seated eagle and give ourselves a hug. And our seated eagle may look like this. Maybe we take it to the next stage, stage two. Monica, one of my teachers for years, and for teaching me stage one, stage two, stage three verbiage, bringing our hands back behind, coming eagle arms. Maybe you can tuck that foot all the way back behind and come into full eagle seated. Maybe you choose to stand up and do your eagle standing. Inhale, reach all the way up to the ceiling. Exhale, bringing our hands all the way back down. Gentle breath. Inhale, bringing ourselves back up bringing the arms back out in a T, bring our feet wide, ooh, crossing the legs, bringing the feet to the mat. So this time the opposite leg for me is the left leg and the right arm comes on top and the left leg maybe crosses over, bringing our hands into eagle arms breathing into it. Inhale, bring ourselves all the way up to the ceiling. Exhale, gently bringing our elbows to our knees, gentle forward fold. Maybe we have ourselves in this position. Maybe we're holding here and breathing into it. Auntie Honey, I hope you're out there. Say hello to your neighbor. Um, I know you guys are on the sitting out back, six feet apart, sharing your evening glass of wine and chatting, hopefully watching me too. Inhale, bring it up, because this class is for you. Bringing the feet back out, bring the feet back in, bring the arms out, point and flex, point and flex and point and flex, bending the knees, and maybe you're doing this on the mat as well. Gently bring the hands back down by our side, bring that right ear to the right shoulder, and just feel this gentle stretch. Pick up the left fingers, so we're flexing the wrist to the side, and breathing into it. Now maybe we change our dristi. Our dristi is our focal point. And look down at the mat. Breathing into it. Feeling the breath. 
Releasing the arm, coming back to center, letting the left ear go to the side, picking up the right fingers. Maybe my friend, sister of the heart, Ethel, is also watching, and this would be a good class for her. Maybe Betty's watching. Um, I can see that there's lots of you on the screen. I know Susan, maybe Joan Delarucco. Um, gently come back to center. This class is modeled after the class that um, I was teaching with for you, yes, teaching, bringing the arms back out and around. So we did our eagle. Now bring our hands to the back of the chair and maybe we pick up and come up and bring ourselves back down. Maybe we bring our hands to heart center. Inhale up, feel our standing chair. Exhale, bring it back down. One more time, bring our arms up overhead. Inhale, bring it up. Gently feel this place. Exhale, bring the hands back down, all the way down to the side. One more time. Inhale, bringing the arms up. Bring ourselves up into standing chair. Hands come to heart center. Maybe you hold in standing chair as you bring one elbow over to the side. Maybe you come back to seated chair. Tonight I'm doing an ever so gentle practice. Opening, feeling the stretch, looking up to the ceiling breathing into it, bringing our hands back to heart center, coming back to center, bring the arms all the way up, out and around, and bringing our hands back in, gently twisting over to the other side. And again, maybe you're still in your standing chair, opening, coming to the breath, looking up to the ceiling and breathing into it, breath. Now gently bring our hands back to heart center, bringing the hands in, inhale, bring ourselves up, out and around. Now some of us maybe as we twist to one side and we can let, bring that one foot over the chair, bringing the opposite foot back behind. And as we breathe into it, we're using the chair for support and coming into a lunge. Maybe you're modifying and you're just gently opening the legs. Or plant C, we get up and bring the chair out in front and hold on to the chair. And as we're holding on to the chair, I'm going to move this chair just a little more forward and have my right foot forward. I have my right foot forward. You can start on whichever foot you want and bring that left foot back and bending that front knee we're coming into warrior one. And for those of us with hips that are extremely tender, this is gentler than bringing the hips over the chair and using the chair in support. So we're stretching out the back of that back leg. Those toes are in the mat. The knee is coming to the pinky toe. And maybe you hold on to the chair. Maybe the arms come up and over feeling the breath, maybe we come into cactus arms and hold here, five, four, three, two, one, bringing the hands back to the chair, step, tap, come to the front, bringing the opposite foot back. And if you're still seated in the chair, maybe your knee is tender and standing is not yet where you're supposed to be. 
you turn to the other side and that leg can come gently down by the side and you bring your arms up and come back. Maybe that back leg comes all the way around and you're opening up. However, I know that um, Auntie Honey and maybe some of my other ladies will be standing, bringing that left foot forward. And gentlemen, can you can do this. Um, gently bring that knee towards the pinky toe. Bring that left foot, right foot back behind, pushing down. Hips are coming towards the center. Inhale, bringing the arms up. Gently bring ourselves out, breathing into it, feeling this pose, feeling the asana, honoring ourselves where we are, feeling the breath, breathing into it. Bringing the hands back to the chair, gently step tap bring that back foot forward auntie honey this is for susan please let her know she inspired me and taught me susan is the tai chi teacher in new orleans when i go to new orleans we go to tai chi so gently bringing our feet wide taking the right hand bring it across the body thumbs come up Feel this gentle stretch from our toes to our fingertips. And gently bring the hands all the way up and around. That left hand bringing it up. Thumbs come up, feeling the stretch through the side body. And bringing that arm all the way up and around. One more time, take that right arm up. Feel the stretch out and around. Left arm up, feel the stretch out and around. Right arm stretch up, out and around. Left arm stretch up, out and around. Bringing our heel toes, bringing them back together. I have the chair on the left side. And so I'm gonna shift my weight to the left foot and pick up the right knee and gently let my right knee come out to the right. And this may be your tree right here, depending on the range of motion of the hips and our balance. Maybe that foot comes in closer, closer, and I know some of my people in my gentle classes can come all the way up into their tree. And so I'm doing a full tree tonight. And if Ricky, Wyatt, and Angelo are there, I know you can do a full tree. And I always bring my thumb to finger, thumb to finger, thumb to finger. And so in my regular classes, and even on these, eventually I'll start talking about the thumb to finger, thumb to finger. So someone's texting me, I will answer you all after class. And then gently again, bring that right foot down. Now maybe you just turn around and use the other side of the chair. I'm going to move the chair because <clears throat> I want to keep facing you. And for me, when I teach yoga classes, I'm running around all sides of the room and engaging, making eye contact, talking to you. So my way of doing that on camera is to continue facing the camera and say, I'm here and you matter. So bring that right foot over, pick up the left foot, bring the knee to the left. And I know Sister Blue, um, Nanette, bring the hands to heart center, bring the foot in. Um, is not a mushy, mushy positive person. <laughs> She's more, she prefers the drill sergeant type of yoga. Um, I know I'm enough. And so 
I can only be successful at being myself. There's my motto for the day. Actually bringing out the arms, coming into our cactus arms. And so all of you people who come to my classes regularly, I mention you, I'm honoring you. Wendy, um, I hope that you're here tonight and um, Sue and Sharon, Auntie, Ethel can gently bringing that foot back down, bring our hands to heart center, bring the arms up all the way out and around, gently bringing the arms to the side. Now, bringing the hands to the chair. We're gently going to walk back. And again, more important to see my position than the chair itself. And I'm coming to a flat back and holding this halfway with a flat back. And this may be right where I hold. Now maybe holding on to the chair, bringing my shoulder blades to the spine, my knees come soft, I can come into downward dog with the chair. Maybe my hands go down to the seat level of the chair. Maybe I have my blocks on the earth and I come into my downward dog on the earth. Maybe my hands reach all the way to the mat. Maybe my hands are holding right here. So I know that there's varying levels in my gentle people. Karen Beasley, I hope you're out there. This is a good class for you in modification with the wrist. If you're not there, I'm going to send it to you. Inhale, bring the hands up. This time, bring that right foot forward, left foot back, coming into our standing pyramid. I went into lunge, but let's do standing pyramid before lunge. So the knee is soft, and again, we're gently hinging forward, and maybe our hands come in and we're hanging onto the chair. Again, walk our hands down the chair. Maybe the blocks are up on the highest setting. If you don't have blocks at home, maybe you have an old phone book or some other type of thing. Um, but maybe, you know, you're using a chair or the counter. And so if you're using the counter, you're holding halfway. Breath. Step forward with the back foot and front backward with the front foot, feeling our standing pyramid on the other side. Gently breathing into it as we hinge over, gently bringing ourselves down towards the mat. Maybe our hands are holding halfway as we breathe into it. Feeling that breath Inhale, bringing ourselves back up. Now gently bringing that back foot back farther, stretching into a lunge. So we're coming onto the ball of the back toes, if that works for us. The knee comes to the left. Gently feeling this stretch, breathing into it. Breath. Maybe your hands come up. Maybe they stay on the chair. Again, using the chair for mindful, gentle transition. Step, tap, walk, bring ourselves back to center. Inhale, bring the arms up, back behind. Exhale, let them come down. Keeping the right foot forward, left foot, right foot forward, left foot back. 
opposite side of what you just did and breathing into it and the thing I love about yoga is it doesn't matter if you do the left side when I say the right side or the right side when I say the left side because we're going to do the other side and so in being successful and being yourself you choose what side you want to do first it's all good bringing that knee to the pinky toe coming up feeling the stretch breathing into it maybe you come cactus arms maybe tonight you say you know i just want to hang on to the chair and breathe into it and typically maybe lunges in a gentle pose but tonight i know that when i say gentle practice step walk tap bring the back of the foot up and come back to center bringing the feet wide chair to the side and this time we're gently going to come from side to side breathing into it it's um a unique practice of people who maybe are still very strong um, but have some balance issues maybe some joint degenerations that um, they're not able to get down onto the ground and back up again coming back to center uh, but they've had a full yoga practice over the years so they can still do the standing poses um, maybe without being able to get all the way down to the ground so one more standing pose we're going to do triangle bring the right toe forward the left toe back coming out to the side feel our triangle and then gently reach forward and my hands on the chair and so i'm stable in this pose and again maybe my arm comes down to the seat of the chair maybe i reach for the block so that I'm stable. Maybe my hand comes back behind and I'm keeping my side body open. So maybe I'm holding on to the kitchen counter here and bringing my hand up over my head and breathing into it. And then gently bring that top hand down, look back to the chair and bring that back foot forward and the opposite foot back. Again, I'm turning the chair and making that connection, keeping you in my sight. And so the left foot comes forward, the right foot comes back, toes coming to the front, gently bringing the arms out in a T, reaching forward, coming up into triangle, Trikonasana bringing the hand to the chair. Maybe we bring the hand down, inhale up, look up to the ceiling, feeling the breath, breathing into it. Bringing that top hand back to the chair, bringing ourselves back up, bring the arm around, coming to warrior two. Maybe that hand stays in the chair, feeling our warrior two, breathing into it. Maybe we inhale, bring the arms up, exhale, come on down, inhale up exhale down you can put some soup cans in your hands if you want weights exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale one more inhale and exhale now coming back to center bringing that back foot forward and the front foot back or simply turning yourself around and I'm just not moving the chair this time 
and again inhale come up exhale come down inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale one more time inhale up exhale coming back to center now maybe you have the chair out in front of you or the counter as you come halfway with a flat back wide leg maybe the hands come to the blocks maybe you come down to the mat this is gentle i'm not going to pop up into headstand tonight i did that on my own and practiced today placing the hand down inhale bring ourselves up exhale bring the hand down inhale bring the hand up exhale using the chair or the counter to pull ourselves back up heel toe the feet in bringing the heels in bringing the arms up gentle breaths inhale bring it all the way up feel our star pose reach up towards the ceiling bring our hands together bring the feet back in bring some of the sky on down come to our edge pick up some of the earth come all the way up maybe you come all the way up on your tippy toes and exhale come all the way down maybe you come all the way into squat and scoop up some earth and as we scoop up some earth bring that up all the way up and over over top of us auntie this is part of tai chi for you inhale bring it all the way up reach 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 bringing this all the way back down coming as low as you go and scooping up some earth and bringing it all the way back up and over top feeling the breath gently mindfully bringing ourselves back to the chair now maybe you sit in the chair and let's all let's all come back to the chair or if you're using the mat we're going to do bridge pose i know some people in my class will get down on the mat and do their bridge pose here bring our hands all the way back behind to the chair and gently look up arch the spine bring ourselves back and lift up maybe the feet hold in the mat and we're simply arching the spine feeling this gentle back bend exhale bringing ourselves back down bring the spine to the earth exhale forward fold maybe if you're on your back you bring your knees into your chest and give yourself a hug tucking the chin under inhale bringing it all the way back up now if you're in the chair maybe you have an ottoman or another chair that you can put your feet up and feel gentle reclined this is seated legs up the wall maybe if you're able to get down on the ground and back up you come down onto the mat using the chair shifting to one side gently bringing our feet up onto the chair and rolling ourselves back down bringing our palms up feeling the breath feeling our legs up the wall and as you come into legs up the wall i'm turning the music on and some of you may choose to hold in legs up the wall through savasana 
and some of you may choose to stretch all the way out onto the mat. This is Signatures on Water music with, um, and I chose the Signature on Water Om piece. And so holding in legs up the wall, coming into meditation, you're all in legs up the wall. I'm going to read to you one of my favorite poems. And the first place I heard this was with Merle Eskowitz. I also want to honor John Anthony Bakowitz as one of my teachers in creating positive thinking and positive in my life. My cup says, let's be brave and kind and love more than less. And I love that. And it's a gift from a student. Thank you, Joanne. I drink out of it all the time. Now settling down flat out on the mat into Savasana or passively holding in legs up the wall if that's where you're comfortable. Look to this day for it is life, the very life of life. In its brief course lies all the verities and realities of your existence. The bliss of growth, the glory of action, the splendor of beauty. For yesterday is but a dream, and tomorrow is only a vision. But today, well lived, makes every yesterday a dream of happiness, and every tomorrow a vision of hope. Look well, therefore, to this day. Such is the salutation of the dawn. And I'm sharing this in a night class, planting the seed so when you wake up in the morning feeling fresh from this class, you will think of the poem and be happy to greet the day. I'm beaming out Reiki energy for those of you who wish to receive. If you wish not to receive, simply ask the energy to lift and go over you to someone else in the room. Reiki is a gentle, loving energy, breathing into it. Feeling the breath. Taking a great big inhale in. Gently wiggling your fingers and toes. Stretching your arms up overhead, bringing our knees into our chest. Gently coming onto our right side or bringing ourselves up into seated. As I bring my hands to heart center, may the light within me Salute the light within you. And when we are at this place, we are truly all the same. Namaste. Be happy, safe, and healthy until we meet again. I'll be back tomorrow night for night eight of my yoga series. 7.30, Monday night. Thank you. I'm just going to scooch in here and see who all's here so I can greet you and thank you for coming to class. 
Susan Perry, wonderful. Jocelyn, Lisa Stone. Walter Bachteller, thank you for your comment. Ronald Spam. Edie Greenberg, good to see you. Ken O'Keefe, see, I told you you could do this one. Donald Thompson, thank you for attending. Patricia Gonzalez, thank you for being here. Good to see you. Dave Geiger, thank you for all your music. Donna Sutcliffe, Jennifer Lee, thank you for being here. Rando, thank you for your music so I can go out and dance. Nina Badger, thank you for being here. Evelyn, thank you for being here. Marion Stewart, thank you. I told you this would be a practice. Krista Weston, beautiful. Izumi, Arigato. Marion, thank you. Auntie Honey and everybody who may be watching this later, I love you all from the heart. Namaskar.